Hey everybody, thanks for checking out another visual communication critique here on the YouTube channel. Today it's a pretty simple design here with a kind of a funny story, which I'll tell very quickly. I was driving down the road and I noticed on uh, some of my neighbor's garbage cans, they had these little yellow papers stuck to the side and it looked like something official, like maybe a ticket, like maybe these people you know, left their garbage cans in the way of snow plows or something. I thought, oh boy, they're in trouble. I get home and I find the same thing on my garbage can and I'm, so I'm thinking what's going on here, some type of public notice from the city or county, whatever, but no. This is an advertisement for somebody who wants to paint home addresses on curbs and they want to charge you $20 to do it. But what I want to point out here is how this is such a simple design and they're imitating an official looking document on yellow paper, boring design, sim simple heading here that just says notice. And I think it's very clever because, uh, you know, if you had a business to paint, to do whatever, you might think um, I need to have a very fancy looking flyer, glossy paper, nice pictures, contact information, website, all kinds of stuff on there. But in this case, I mean, because that is kind of the natural tendency of a business to do that, and everybody's going to do that, those things aren't going to get noticed. But these people, they they executed this very well, and even as you read it, it sounds like this is something official, until you get down here at the bottom, and it's like, make checks payable to Mr. So-and-so, blah, blah, blah. I've crossed out the name and number just to protect this person's identity. Uh, but it's just a business and it's, it's kind of, I guess you could say it's a little deceptive. Some people might actually think that they have to do this and might sign up. And, and so in that sense, there might be an ethical dilemma there. Um, but it's a good lesson when you're creating advertisements or any type of marketing, sometimes going with just something so simple and boring that looks official can set you apart from the competition. And in this case, even though I probably won't you know, pay 20 bucks to have them paint an address on my curb, uh, it at least got my attention and it got me to look at it. Um, again, issues with placement. I don't know if they're allowed to put these on people's garbage cans. I'm guessing that's frowned upon by the city. Uh, that's a different issue, but the design, so simple, just says notice, boring text, a little form, and I'm guessing that this will deliver more business than kind of a standard business flyer that you would send out in the mail or whatever. So keep that in mind when you design things. Sometimes the thing that looks boring and official uh, when compared with the other flashy stuff, this can be the thing that stands out. Uh, this applies to things you might send out in the mail or posters you put on a bulletin board. Uh, a lot of types of things. So think about that in your next projects. Make something look kind of official um, and it's, you know, it, it's more likely that people are going to stop and at least start to read a little bit. And sometimes that can, can be all, all it takes for someone to buy your product. So thanks for checking out the critique. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and we'll see you next time. Hey, thanks again for checking out the video. If you'd like to see more critiques of visual communication like this, check out the playlist and subscribe to the channel so you get all the latest videos.